We good? We on the internet? We're on the internet. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Chief Adventure Company. My name is Luke the DM, and it is my job to kill everybody. We are live here at Urban Food Brood in Springfield, Massachusetts, for Tax first ever live stream. This is pretty insane. Um, can't believe we pulled it off. Um, but we got a lot to talk about and a, a big old game to, to play here. Oh my God, the stream looks beautiful. Look at all that. Um, Okay, guys, so we're going to be here till just about 5 o'clock or so. So if you're in the area, please come swing by. We've got amazing drinks, yummy snacks. We've got raffles, door prizes, all sorts of amazing stuff, all in support of Same You. Um, again, Same You is the charity organization that we've been uh, raising money for all month long uh, to support um, survivors, therapies, and relief for traumatic brain injury survivors and sufferers. Um, it's a very, very common problem that's not talked about enough. Um, exclamation point, same you in the chat if, uh, if you want to read more about them. Um, here at Urban Food Brood, we've got our QR codes set up everywhere. So if you come on by, you can scan it with your phone, get directly to our Linktree link, directly to the Tiltify link to learn more about our, our fundraiser. Um, we've got stats and everything posted about same you. Um, it's a really, really awesome stuff. So come on down, support an amazing cause. Grab a delicious coffee or cocktail. I will say, delicious drinks. Thank you very much. Um, Best chocolate milk I've ever had. I know, had. right? It is fantastic stuff. Um, we got people floating around, uh, talking, helping out. So uh, swing on by and uh, come come support an awesome cause. Do we want to go through our cast of players? Because this is the first time I'm meeting some of you in real life, and we've got people that have flown across the country to come play, which is amazing. <laughs> Um, why don't we start with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. KCMO. Hey everyone, I'm KC. I flew in here from Kansas City, Missouri, fun fact, Mr. KCMO. And I'm playing uh, Sergeant Diego Darkfire, War Wizard. That's, that's your, that's your I'm about to blow stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> well, the mic's there, the mic's no, there. Look at the camera. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> I blow stuff up, I don't talk to cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Pretty sure everyone knows who I am. My name is uh, uh, Nate, I, <laughs> my name's Nathan. I'm playing Vorden Hingle. Uh, I apologize in advance for screaming and yelling and anything else that comes out obnoxious out of my mouth today. You hit poor Jen. Thank you. Great job. I'm going to turn it over to my friend Jen. Who now has a free kick hat. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Jen, Jay Melio, in most places on the interwebs. Uh, and today I am playing Callie from the Valley, my barbarian, and I am drinking a delicious slutty chai because of course I have to. It just works so well. It does. It works so it does. well. Alrighty. Um, there you are. Hello. Um, I'm Sam, Panky Rage. We're playing Willow today, our war casting crazy wizard. Yeah, buddy. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Valid. Nailed it. I'm Mark. I'm Sanryu on the uh, on the Discord, and I'll be playing the anime protagonist Sanryu Hibata, <laughs> as everyone has been proud to proclaim me. So, weaves unite. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm Vicky. I'm going to be playing the Alpha Collector, um, who's a barbarian. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Well, thank you guys all for joining us. Thanks for um, everything here. This is an amazing venue, guys. Again, please, if you're in the area, we're here till just about five o'clock or so, maybe a little bit after, come swing by, say hi, meet everybody, grab a drink. Again, can't stress it enough. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, jump right into it, guys, if everybody's all set. So, say so, the speech. I will say the speech in a minute. I'm going to say the speech in a minute. Turn it up for everybody to hear that. I will. I will. Um, so, for, for the record, this is a canonical TAC mission. So, this, this counts. There will be experience rewarded, tea leaf points, all that good stuff. So, just like a normal Thursday, but we're in person. So, it's a little bit different, but kind of the same. All right. Tonight's mission, this, today's mission, this afternoon's mission <laughs> begins. I'm all out of sorts. So this afternoon's mission begins, as they always do, in the beautiful free city of Kadoria on a lonely peninsula to the north of the Midnight Sea. And there, on the prime central thoroughway drag known as Avonger's Alley, right where it turns right into the south on Timora's Way in that central town square known as Avis Piazza, it's a beautiful three-story mansion which now serves as the Tleaf Adventuring Company Guild Hall. 
Now, as you all know, the foreign nation of the Ebonward Isles has had a blockade around the free city of Kadoria for several months now in response to um, some foreign allegations, some casual murder by one of the, the guild members, you know, no big deal. Um, but it has been... <laughs> it has... Uh, it has been a, a hard time here in the Free City for, for quite some time now. As you guys all go about your morning business, or I will say early afternoon business, maybe grabbing an early lunch, maybe having a drink or so in the Guild Lounge, we will pick up with you guys. Um, all of you guys happen to be congregated in the way that this magical place happens to work all the time, where the right people just happen to end up in the right spots at the right time. You guys all find yourselves in the Guild Lounge going about your business, so... What's everybody up to? Anybody? Not all at once. Wait, Bella? Come yeah. join me for some morning hot yoga. Oh, absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna. What are we starting with? Sun salutation. Uh, you know, downward dog is always right. a good one. All right. Um, yeah, yelp, your dog, lady, person. Uh, yeah. Show, show us how it's done. done. Show us how it's done, girl. <laughs> Gil's just awkwardly doing weird gestures with her hands, and then she just like lays down on the ground because she doesn't know any yoga. Will is gonna try you her best. Close. I will give you credit. <laughs> Actually, doing dog tricks. Sit down. I don't know any yoga poses, guys. That's all I got. I got some salutation. We could do warrior stretch. Yep. <laughs> all right, now other side. Uh, yeah, that feels good. Okay, Stay right next to the fire and make it nice and hot, hot yoga. Callie, do you want to see the picture that I drew of me and my friend Harper? <laughs> you know, Gordon, that's like totally, you know what you should do? You should have, you should have Ted put it behind the bar for everybody to see. Oh, he should. Oh, you would Speaking love of that. Ted, he kind of needs a sweep down here. It's a little dirty. <laughs> well, you know, there's, there's a little bit of a shedding issue right now. <laughs> Is the season, you know? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> now, what, what are you doing besides apparently becoming an artist? I've been reading a lot of books lately about stuff and things, and I've been learning a lot. You haven't gotten into my books again, have you? I, yeah. Oh. You keep oh, leaving no. them out. I mean, it is free advertisement, so. I know, kind of but policy. the latest chapter, the one you just wrote, was really bad. <laughs> Bad as in like bad. <laughs> oh, well, fuck me. <laughs> no thanks. So we've got the three ladies doing hot yoga near the fireplace. What are you two up to? Uh, one trying not to bite my tongue as I'm listening in on everything. Of course, in the back corner as I always am. Uh, Sounds probably. Uh, honestly, he's reading a bunch of books now that he's just taken from the watchers. Um, and he's knees deep into this whole grim grace thing and everything else like that. Just okay, doing okay. as much research as he can. Beautiful, grim, beautiful. Grace so he's, he's more like stuck in that sense. Gotcha. And uh, I am judging soldier yoga because that's not soldier yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Only soldier yoga is push ups and sit ups and crunches. <laughs> not <laughs> this. Ridiculous. <laughs> So yoga's hot and crunchy. I don't know if I really want to get into that. <laughs> yeah, you might get a bath after. I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that either. <laughs> Fair. All right. As you guys are going about your morning business, um, from outside of the courtyard, um, the matron of the Teal Adventuring Company, Marigold herself, comes walking in, carefully balancing a silver tray with what appears to be several goblets. Um, precariously balancing on there. Um, she's kind of taking very close care not to spill as she pulls the door behind her and walks in and kind of sets it on the bar and kind of looks around and goes, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Hi. Um, I've got a rare treat for anybody who wants to uh, potentially help out with an issue. Reginald, did you put your hair in the goblet on fire? So, a treat? Yeah, come gather around. It's, it's it's like nothing you've ever tasted before. I swear, this is phenomenal. Borden, come on. Callie, Callie, oh, yeah, Willow, yeah, yeah. Willow. Geld, Geld, if you're interested. Geld's gonna pick herself off the floor. Did Ted touch me? No, no, no. These are. I actually made these myself. Um, oh. Yeah, it's kind of a. So what is it exactly? Um, Diego, are you interested? 
<laughs> that smells like whiskey. I'll take it. All right. Uh, well, not quite, but it smells delicious. I'm going to try. It smells like whiskey. Thank you. Humble. Um, what sits before you is this sort of creamy brown liquid that seems to be frothing and steaming up from the cups, and this wonderful sort of nutty, bitter aroma is is filling the guild lounge right now. You guys all might recognize the smell as very, very strong coffee. <laughs> this is the coffee caper, after all. <laughs> um, Marigold would kind of uh, hand out glasses to each of you, and it's warm to the touch, very Ooh. soothing. Is this from home? No, actually. So. Yeah, who, who brews this coffee? I'll explain in, in just a minute. So, as you guys all know, Kadori has been under siege for quite some time, and we've Reginald and I and everyone here at the Tealish Adventuring Company has been working very hard to try to come to a, a peaceful solution that doesn't involve turning over Cali to be executed in a foreign country. Um, so we've been researching and, and doing as much as we can to try to come up with a, a solution, and, and we have an idea. It's a, it's a long shot, but let me explain. So the, the, the monarch of the... Uh, Ebon Ward Isles is, is a woman known as Queen Olivia II. And Bitch. What? Callie. <laughs> She's a bit eccentric. She's kind of reclusive. But we do know one thing about her. She absolutely loves coffee. Oh. And now, two things about her. Okay. <laughs> now, the Ebonward Isles are pretty famous for their own brand of coffee that's that's pretty pretty great and, and renowned. However, we managed to It's pretty mid. It's better than Mundo's shit though. Oh, that Mundo's is hard. <laughs> you need to work on your aim. Are you serious? I can't see shit with these glasses. <laughs> So, um, we've managed to supply to, to gather several crates and barrels full of extremely rare coffee beans from the deepest parts of the jungles of Onset. And what we're hoping is that if we, the Tealeaf Adventuring Company, deliver this to Queen Olivia as sort of a, a, a peace offering, she might be willing to sit down and talk about negotiating a peaceful solution. Yes, Gordon. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty wise, but maybe Callie going back to the kingdom where she's wanted really isn't the best. Well, no, that's that's a, a, a sign of good faith in our part. Uh, that's okay? that's demonstrating um, trust. Do we negotiate with yeah, terrorists? But, but no, I don't I'm not, trust Callie to do something bad again. It's all going to be okay. Excuse me. It's true. I only kill people that need to be killed. Who he did something bad to begin with, but you know. Um, he. He deserved it. Okay. Yeah. Who rocked? Okay. He did. He did. We won't go there. We won't go there. Peaceful. Now, um, I've brewed up a little bit of a sample just to demonstrate how potent and amazing this stuff is, and I want all of you guys to try it. But just know that I we we've negotiated a, a pre-negotiated deal. The blockade's gonna allow one ship through that's gonna carry this coffee, and you guys will be escorting the coffee all the way to Evan Ward, okay? It's your job to make sure that the package arrives safe, unmolested, and gets to Queen Olivia herself so that she can taste this for herself. Now, before, I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I need you guys to, to please, please, please just try this coffee. It's fantastic. When we say unmolested. You know what I mean. Uh, Fine. Let I'll me, do some shape water, just swirl it around and chug it. <laughs> it's hot, but it is fantastic. It is the best cup of coffee you have ever had. It is phenomenal. And all of you, one by one, as you start sipping, chugging, however you choose to imbibe, um, realize that there is something otherworldly about this cup of coffee. It is so good. All black liquid is worth gold. It is so good, in fact, 
that as you drink it, for the next 10 minutes, you're going to gain the benefits of the haste spell, as well as 25 temporary hit points. Ooh, Ooh wee! <clears throat> you like that. Yes. So don't mark it just yet. Well, you can go ahead and mark it now, because uh, Marigold also has to-go cups for you. Oh, so. excellent. When you guys leave tomorrow morning, uh, just in case you run into any trouble out on the Midnight Sea and heading north towards the Obsidian Isles, these pack a punch. They, they give you an extra kick. So use them, use them wisely, but just know that in case things get a little hectic, this coffee is amazing. Now, the liquid form, obviously, you can drink. The beans themselves will have to be brewed by Queen Olivia once they reach the Obsidian Isle, or the, the Ebon Ward Isles, pardon me. Um, but it is going to be, hopefully, enough to get her attention to see that we mean, we're, we're trying to resolve this peacefully. These were not easy to get, okay? These were very expensive, they're very rare, so we need to make sure that they arrive as safely as possible. So no snacking on the beans. No snacking on the beans. Oh, not molested. Again, you have a sample today and a to-go pack. Them. There's a thermos for all of you for the trip. So it's essentially count it like a potion, guys. Yeah. Coffee potion. Question. Mm -hmm. Is this provided by the Silks? No, actually, this was me and Reginald, believe it or not. The Silks had nothing to do with this. Oh. That's actually probably the best thing ever. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> Any other questions or preparations that we want to do before we leave? Um, Marigold, if this was south. Yep. And I'm taken captive. <laughs> we'll come get you. Okay. Um, you have to have more faith in your fellow compatriots to keep you safe. Oh no, it's not the compatriots. There's this like asshole named Salvatore, and um, he's kind of scary. He's got like a whole orange plantation that is going on. And, oh, I've heard of him. Right? Very yeah. scary. He's kind of like got the little like mafioso vibes. Yeah. But it's kinda all gonna be too. okay. Oh. It's all gonna be okay. We'll just drop off the coffee. Get your receipt, sail back on home. I, Nobody from Evanward should mess with you. I just have one question. Of course. I get seasick very easily. Um, what's the weather forecast? You see her actually conjure up a bit of druidic magic and there's this sort of like orange sphere that appears between her hands. And as she gazes into it, you can see some mist kind of sort of almost like a crystal ball. And then it turns to this beautiful, bright, sunny um, sort of sky blue color um it should be all clear for ah, um at least the next couple days interesting what you give you a oh god what you got gordon <laughs> i think you're gonna tell me even if i said no meteorologists in guild hall owners are the only ones that can get their get their job wrong 90 percent of the time and still be employed <laughs> Uh, no, one, no one else is laughing. Like, like, um, no, I'm thinking the thing at the front of the boat. What the hell is the thing at the front of the oh, boat? The figurehead? Yeah, the, the figurehead. figurehead. Oh, I, I love being the figurehead. Yeah, exactly. I think that's yeah. I got it for Yeah. You know what? He can also negotiate with me. Something. Mm. <laughs> All right, Marable. You got a show for us? Oh, I do, actually. Um... It's it's a pretty fine vessel, and it should make make it all the way with no issues. Just again, with all these wars going on, piracy's been at an all time high. Um, there are sea monsters and krakens and serpents all throughout the sea in that region. So we just need to be careful and defend the cargo from anything that might attack us, that might show up out on the seas. Uh, bubbles. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, bubbles. As long as it's not a dragon. <laughs> yeah, a dragon would be really bad. Especially yes, that would done. definitely not be good. Especially on a giant wooden ship. That sounds like oh. a bad time. Yeah, no, Especially definitely. if it breathes fire. That would yeah. be really bad. Well, the good news really is we bad. have water around us. Yes. That's true. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All righty. So if there are any other questions or uh, preparations you guys would like to do, speak now or forever hold your peace. Are you feeling... 
Does the shop have potions of water breathing? It does not. It does not. That's what I thought. Just checking since it's not Listen, me. I'm poor. If anyone can buy me a healing potion, I won't say oh, Bro, I got you. Got you. Keep it all Listen, I got zero. I'll take okay, it. Okay, you got all of them. Where's all your money? What's it? It was blown up in my dreams. Oh. If you need an inv investment Restart banker, I, I can help okay, you. Go ahead. Um, I'll pop Mage Armor right when we're headed out. Sure, sure. I'll bring Mage, Mage Armor. Well. Oh, that's right. We got two wizards now. I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard fairy. All right, you're all set, Casey. You got full set. One greater, but I don't know why I'm giving you a greater. Listen, that's full health right there. That's full health. That's guaranteed max heal. All right, and oh, then... And then I'm going to slide off one of the bangles right. around my wrist, and I'm going to hand it to Willow. And all right. Just like, girl, we're not blocked. Thanks, girl. All right, girl. so Willow's got the other yep. bestie bangle. That's your magical artifact, okay? Bestie bangle. Alright. What is it? 2d4 plus 4 and then 1. 2d4 plus 2 and 4d4 plus 4. I got your name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Alrighty. And then what exactly does the. It's, it's yeah, so what is that? For, first stream, so, what is best So um, it'll give you plus 1 to your AC. Okay. Um, we have uh, advantage on rolls uh, against being frightened within 60 feet of each other. Um, and then only I have the ability to swap us as a bonus action, but okay. we can be swapped if you okay. need it, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. Sweet. That you need to know. <laughs> oh, and we can communicate telepathically. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Within a within one mile of each other. Holy that's shit. Uh, that's pretty okay. high. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm actually not using it. Uh, Diego, I'm gonna walk up to you. I'm handing you a very special ring. You now have the ring of mind shield. Ray, I'm if you die, your soul goes into it. We can bring it back. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> Insurance policy. Let's go. <laughs> Someone said that insurance is a scam. <laughs> Alrighty. Any other questions, preparations, anything before we get this party started? Um, I will, as we are about to get on the boat, I will double drop eight on the party. So everybody will gain five to their max HP. Ooh. Okay. Five almost 50% of my health. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard's bad. Low level. By the way, yeah, let's go around. Um, I know we introduced our characters, but what level is everybody here? Because we got quite a bit of a spread. So, <laughs> just for. So, you are level two. Oh, God, I forgot. Seven. Seven's for Vorden. Uh, I am level 10, six barbarian, four bard. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> level 11, yes. evocation wizard. Okay. Uh, level six warlock, level three paladin. So level nine total. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue. I don't remember. Five. five. There we go. Yeah. Five. Spontaneously remembered. Five barbarian. <laughs> You're squishy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I have soul. That's all. That <laughs> so we've got all three tiers represented here in the Tier Convention Company. Protect the baby. Yep. Protect the babies. Protect yeah. Babies. I give him the ring. <laughs> Life insurance until it gets canceled. <laughs> All right. They don't need to know our profession. <laughs> so, as you guys head out, um, out into Avis Piazza, um, it's beautiful, sunshiny afternoon. The streets are as busy as they can be with the blockade happening. But you turn right and heading south um, down Melora's Way through Solomon's Slums, end up in uh, Cupander's Keep or Cupander's Key the sort of wharf district and there you can see with the tea leaf adventuring company uh insignia emblazoned on the sails is a magnificent ship awaiting you oh wow so players for the time being go ahead and place your minis wherever you'd like to be for the start of this encounter over here. Um, no, Gordon, you're in the front, remember? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, you're literally tied right here. You're right, Callie. <laughs> Where's the I, steering wheel? I have a um, rope of entanglement and I'm tying Gordon down. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what? 
Of course you do. Why would you do that? It's that slutty chai. Yeah. What you gonna say? Is there any way? Actually, can we show off these minis? Because Mr. Wee did a fantastic job. Yeah, hold them up to that middle camera there. And then just say who's who. That's Callie. Clearly, this is Callie. Clearly. She got me there. They came out so good. Yeah, I really did. I'll show off Sana real quick. We did a fantastic job on these paintings. What's his name? Daniel. It came out so good. Yep. They came out so good. If you don't mind. I got Willow. Willow might be my personal favorite. That one came out so, so, so good. I love the blood magic effect. That's so good. And then last but not least, the giant axe. Oh, I, love it. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> Callie, what did you do to me? I can't move. Don't worry about it. I don't like this. <laughs> the safe word is watermelon. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Red that one's for Melvin. <laughs> Just remember, if you say the same word, you might end up in a dream. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, guys, as you set sail out of the, the Bay of Cadoria, heading um, southwest up and around the coast of the Lonely Peninsula, heading north towards the Ebonward Isles, you guys would actually see the blockade as you fly the flag of the Tito Prevention Company part just enough to allow your ship to pass through. And you can see some of the Ebon Ward Marines on there, armed with their muskets and their sabers. So they're giving you dirty looks, but no one is acting actively against you. It seems that Marigold and Reginald have negotiated a temporary truce to allow you guys to pass through unscathed. Kelly's just going to wave. You just do like a... <laughs> my people. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> I'd mean mug back. Mean mug back. Mm -hmm. I dropped my lemon. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Gil. <laughs> All right. Now, as you guys <laughs> click on the draw over there, um, as you guys start sailing, um, adjusting the sails, adjusting your direction, I need whoever is going to captain this vessel at the helm to make me a navigation check. It could, could be, be anyone, one, but, but it's yeah. definitely going to be me. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, we are a local organization that's willing to share the end. We are on the Blue Sea Channel, and we are on the Blue Sea Channel. A what? A what? On the Queen? On the Queen? <laughs> yeah. Girl, uh, you got faith. <laughs> OK, OK. What am I adding to this? You. Um, so it's going to be your intelligence modifier and your proficiency bonus. Okay. Um, so 19 plus 5, 24. 24 for the first roll. Okay. All right. With a 25, over the next several hours, you manage to steer this mighty vessel out into the deep blue, leaving what's technically considered the Midnight Sea and heading more north towards the Frozen Reach. The sun is shining beautifully. There's not a cloud in the sky. Smooth sailing for the first several hours or so. Um, this is a pirate's dream or a sailor's dream, as it were. Um, there are no other ships in sight. Everything is going perfectly according to plan. And you've got your several barrels of um, coffee beans stowed deep sort of in the... In the um, the whole of your ship. As you guys continue to sail on, over the course of about 15, 20 minutes or so, the weather starts to take a turn, which is directly in violation of the, the forecast that you guys just got. Yeah, of oh, course the forecast is wrong. They're always wrong. These oh. meteorologists, they have no idea what they're doing, ever. You're already pointed over the railing. Just do your business. Um, as the weather starts getting rough, I will have the rope on staying board in and just board in. Just stay, stay on board, please. Watermelon. <laughs> yes, you're already untied. You want to be retied? No. It's ruining my suntan. Sounds like the the clouds and fog begin to roll in, and this eerie mist begins to sweep over the entire ocean. 
heavily limiting your visibility. You guys can probably see from one end of the ship to the other here, and then, you know, about a couple dozen feet off of the deck, but around you, visibility has shrunk down to pretty much nothing. Yeah, guys, I got nothing for this. Oh! I, I mean, have dancing light. I can, I can see through everything for 120 feet, so I'm good. Well, you can <laughs> see through darkness, but fog is a different story. Oh, yeah, I guess. Make sure you hold on tight to the railing. Don't want to go man over the board. <laughs> or woman or dog. Warden's not a man, so we're going to push Okay, we're going to. No! We're going <laughs> to. Yeah, that's what the hell. We're going to see Oh, my God. Hi, Kyle. See. I didn't even see you. Let's see if I got a flying creature here. Is that what I think it is? I got a three. Is this your icy bag of trips? Yeah. Of course, I didn't write this one down. Uh. Give me one second. <laughs> Trying to see if I got a flying creature. Oh my god. This is loading so slowly. I'm sorry. It's okay. We have plenty of time. She's going to cast Giants on our G.I. Gandalf. Sure yeah, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. For legal reasons, not yet. We have another puppy. <laughs> another puppy? We have a Mastiff. <laughs> okay. God damn it, I never turns into what I want it to turn into. Oh. Doggy! The goat is still goaded. That puppy is not long for this world. I don't have a mini for the I dog. don't want a mini. Do I'm one? literally just going to instruct the puppy to make sure Borden doesn't fall overboard. Okay. That Perfect. is all in when the puppet happens. He's okay. Puppy. All right. <laughs> there we go. Now, I love that Borden mini too. That the key gun that came out so good. Why right. did you give me a dog? I'm allergic to dogs. It's a magic dog. You are not huh. allergic to magic dogs. Okay. You might be allergic to Gels, though, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're on opposite ends of the ship. Yeah. yeah. Right. The highest passive perception in the party, I believe, is Willow. 16, baby. Yes. So, Willow, you would notice amidst all this weird weather rolling in rather suddenly. You notice that there's absolutely no wind, and your oh. ship has come to a dead halt, oh, sort shit. of just adrift in the ocean in the middle of this sort of foggy um, cloud. Um, we still have our like mass. All our sails are up. Yeah, all the sails are, are, are still up. Yeah, or well, they'd be well, down, but right. yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess I will get behind them because we're still like pointed in the direction we need to go. As far as you know, yeah. And then I'll cast Gust of Wind. Alright. So dumping your second level spell into it, you cast Gust of Wind and fill up the sails, pushing the ship forward for several minutes. I believe this, how long is the concentration um, on that? I think it's up to a minute, right? One second. I can uh, look that up. One minute, yep. Up to a minute, okay. 60 foot line, so, so as much as the sails in as that I can get. minute, you manage to push the ship several hundred feet forward, um, filling up the sails, getting a little bit of momentum, sort of gliding across the still water. However, as your spell begins to fade and you lose concentration on it, the ship kind of continues its momentum for a few more hundred feet before it comes to another stop, and there seems to be no end to the fog. Ah. Well, that didn't really work. Yeah. I mean, it did for a little bit. Yeah. But um, I can't keep... Anyone else think that this is like super sus? That Marigold said that there was going to be no weather, and now there's weather, and we're going to face Queen Bitch. Absolutely. Um, knowing our luck, it's an ambush. Yeah, uh, and I wonder whose fault this is all is. Yours. I don't what? know Bush is through out here. All right, I need a perception check from the entire party. Active perception. Click, click, click. Oh. Seventeen. 17, okay. Got a 14. 14. Oh, do I still have guidance 20. on? 20, very nice. Yeah, uh, guidance would have 1d4. 8. Uh, 18, I'm sorry. 18, uh, 20, 10, 10 14, 14, 14. 10. 10. And you'd have advantage because of your Tabarxi. Oh, yeah, so roll yeah. another d4. Thank God. Oh, it's not good. It's still 10. 10, okay. So the three of you. As you're sort of trying to figure out exactly what's happening, off in the distance, hear this distant, distant roar. Oh, no. There's a rush of wind, 
and you see a shadow behind all the fog rush on the horizon faster than you can even comprehend, and then it's gone. Guys, I think the wind's coming back. Not in a good way. I think it might be a little more than wind. I think we should arm cannons, personally. There's cannons? I hope. As a matter of fact, there are two cannons. Oh. And I believe on the interior of the ship, oh, we might actually have some cannons. Oh, uh, there might have been. We can try lifting We can try lifting it up and taking the cannons out. If the cannons are not mounted to the ship, I'm going to try and Be take careful. them out. Be careful. Is there anything in there? Maybe. No. I see a barrel. <laughs> I see a door. OK, a no cannons. Pretend there's cannons. <laughs> All I right. forgot the cannons. I mean, there's four cutlasses, four cannons on the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to sting Callie up. She's no longer sunbathing. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, well, no sun. There's no sun yeah, bathing. Exactly. Right. So, um, with the cannons, you have one, we'll say, in the front half of the ship, okay. and one in the ass end of the ship. Okay. Great nautical times, Luke. Yes. <laughs> you can tell I'm well experienced at sea. So. As you guys all kind of look and try listening, determining, distinguishing the direction of this roar and of this rush of wind, you all also feel this icy cold tingle down the back of your neck. And you all start to feel the hair on your arms start to rise. You get goosebumps and you can start to see your breath as spawning in, seemingly out of nowhere, are a number of ghostly pirate like figures. So let's see. No. One. Okay. So we're going to have one up here right here. We're going to have one near the back there. We're going to have okay. one right here. Let's see, I'm going to walk around a bit. Yeah. We're going to have one right down here. <laughs> We're going to have one right up here. Oh, delightful. <laughs> and the captain himself. Oh is going to appear right up top with Callie. And with that, as they sort of apparate into position, they all draw their blades, and I need you all to go ahead and roll me initiatives. Woo! Click on your tokens first, though. Yeah, click on your tokens. Click on your tokens. Can you turn your and look at it? I got 12. 24. All right, so hold on to your numbers. Yeah, hold on. Shit. All right, everybody locked in? Everybody yep. rolled? Okay. Uh, 25. 24. 24 for Diego. Very nice. Do I still have guidance on? 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. 19. 19 for Gordon. Sir. 18. 17 right after. 18 for Sano, and 17, what's your dex modifier? Four. Uh, or, sorry, not modifier. Plus four? Uh, two. Plus two, probably. Okay. I get hard shit added to it. Nice, yeah. nice. Um, so 17, 16, 15, 14. Oh, 14. 14 for Willow. Is my AC 13? I thought it was 13. You're 14. You're, you're no, no, no. Was 14. no, 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 I mean... Uh, and then last but not least, I think is... Oh, yeah. Gail, what do you got? Oh, a 12. A 12, okay. No, my, own, my AC is 14. 12 plus 2. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. So you also got a 14? She got 14. Okay, what's your dex modifier? Or you guys can go simultaneously. Yeah. I don't know. That's All right. Because I know it's not... So, at the start of the initiative, Diego, you're taking kicking us off. Okay. Uh, we're going to fireball the boy in front of us. All right, so where is Diego right here? In the front? Okay, so we're going to call that one number one here. Oh, he looks badass. <coughs> For the record, um, this is what you guys are fighting here on the right. We don't allow stowaways on this boat. All righty, go ahead and let it roll. Uh, 17? Uh, 17 hits. Let's go. 
ice. Yeah, it's just your turn. Uh, D10. No, and right. we're doing four fire damage right off the gate. Four eight. points of fire damage. Okay. I got your present. So Very so nice. All right. First blood. Getting this thing started. Okay. And, and, and with telekinesis, can I knock him over the railing? You can try, yeah. Okay, it's a bonus action. I want to say 12 strength DC. I want to say top of my head. So you've uh, got to make a strength saving throw DC 12. Oh, did I not write that down? Uh, 8 plus... Uh, 13. Sorry, 13. 13. Okay, so he's going to roll. Uh, he's going to fail. So, so he goes five chains anywhere, so I'm going to try to push him off and thing. Yeah, he's going to fall and land prone right at the bottom there. Very nice. Drop kick it up. That way, the turn. For the boy. Solid start. Okay. Uh, after that, it's going to be Borden. You're up. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. They're hideous. <laughs> what are they doing here? Callie, this is all your fault. And I'm going to just <laughs> turn around, and then uh, I'm just going to start. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm gonna move down. Okay. And I'm gonna hide, obviously, because okay, I'm yep. a little like coward. I'm gonna try to be stealthy. I'm gonna hide behind the little mast. Okay, go ahead and make a stealth check for me. Okay, this is very, uh, different to do without clicking the button. Uh, 26. 26, you disappear behind this mast. Ah, can't see me, can't see me. And then I'm going to, um... Pop out, and I'm going to use the key gun okay. on this ugly guy. Number two there, okay. Uh, huh? You would be at advantage. Huh? You would be at advantage, yeah. Okay. The re-roll? Yeah. yeah yep. thanks, thanks. Re-roll roll twice, take the highest. Better. Ooh. Uh, so that'll be a 24. 24 hits. Okay. And what's how do you roll for self? Like, uh, sneak attack, you mean? Yeah, the sneak attack damage. So it's going to be... Yeah, I think it's 3d6 extra? 4d6 yeah. extra? Oh, yeah, I want to say it's 4 at his level. I can look it up real quick. Sneak attack. We'll say 6. Uh, uh, once per turn, extra 4d6. So extra 4d6 damage on top of your key gun attack. You got enough sixes? Yeah. I got 4 right here. Okay. Alright, so base damage... Is uh, da, 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 is five plus the self damage of ooh, Made it. there 10, we go 12, uh, 16. 16 total uh no twenty one points altogether twenty one points nice shot Thank okay <laughs> popping out around the corner firing off the keyblade of Ayun. Heading number two there. Nice shot. Anything yep. else? Uh, that's action, it. Action, bonus action, and movement, right? I'm going to stay okay. behind my little wall. Solid turn for Vorden. That's going to bring us to Sana. All right. Um, I'm kind of underneath the thing here, so I'm going to move this way towards the police guys. And we're going to just go ahead and roll a Booming Blade attack. Okay, so that's going to be on, we'll call that number three in the back. Uh, it's going to be a 26 to hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be 1d8 plus 1d8. So it's going to be 6 from the Slash, and it's going to be 7 Thunder. All right. Um, so total of... 15. 15. All right. A solid blow. Very nice, very nice. And then bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and cast Shield of Faith on the only person that I can see. Actually, hold on. Shield of Faith is 60 feet. I have a marker. <laughs> there we go. So I can totally hit Kelly or Geld with this pretty easily. Hit Geld. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit Geld with a Shield of Faith, so your AC is going to go up by two, so your AC is now 18. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Ooh. That's going to be the end of my turn. Alrighty. Uh, that's going to bring us to the commander up top, who's going to um, see you 
Callie. Um, we are going to do two weapon attacks at you. Um, sorry, one sec. Yeah, okay, so two weapon attacks against you. Uh, the first one's a miss. The second one is also a miss. And then as a bonus action, we're going to do our Martial Fury ability, which is going to give us a bonus action attack, um, which deals extra damage if it lands. That one is probably a hit. That's going to be a 23 to hit. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Of course, the one that an extra is, right? Of course, right? Of course. <laughs> uh, well, I'm lucky. <laughs> Gotta get my dice out here. Okay. All right. So we've got um, seven points of slashing damage on you, plus an additional nine necrotic on you. Okay, so total of 16 on Callie. That's it for that. And then Callie, it is your turn. That one's also 60, so. This one's 60 if you want to use half or however you want to do it. Oh, God, what are we doing? I don't have room there. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna do that actually. Um, I am. Thank you for having the drink. Um. <laughs> all right. Screw it. Um, I am bonus action raging. Okay. Uh, actually, we have rings for that, right? Yeah. Okay. Condition markers. Oh, that's so cool. There should be one for raging on there. Yep. Hi. I am very familiar with the raging one. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty. Very familiar with the re That's true. Um, and then I will recklessly attack this fool in front of me. Okay. As a note, actually, yeah, go ahead. Alright. I'm assuming he's probably immune to poison because he goes. But... One way to try. Yeah. Uh, that is a 28 to hit. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 28. That is D10. Uh, nine plus two for rage. So that's eleven points of damage. Okay. Plus five for poison. He is immune to poison Figured. damage. So okay. eleven right. damage. Second attack. Okay. Uh, advantage. That is a twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Seventeen points of damage. Seventeen. All right. That is action, bonus action. I ain't going anywhere. All right, staying put. Uh, yeah. That's going to bring us to Willow and Geld. You guys are going simultaneously. So, <laughs> however you want to coordinate that, uh, one after another. You first, you want to first. Okay. okay. Uh, Willow's going to move over. I think I can go down. We'll get there. Okay. I think I'll be within 10 feet. Then I'm going to cast Poison Spray at the one that's fallen. Okay. Um, so there's a con saving throw, or they'll take 1d12 poison damage. Okay. Uh, fails the constitution saving oh. throw, but he is immune to poison damage. That's right. Being a ghost. Shoot. <laughs> um, that's it. Alrighty. Uh, Gel, go ahead. Um, Gel is going to get out her king crab claymore. Okay. And she is going to try and go for a whack. Just right on this guy right here. Okay, so that'll be number four. Let's see. No, no raging yet. Uh, it is a four. Four plus. Um, yes. Oh, God, I'm going to have to do that. Eleven. Okay, so it's an eleven. Eleven, <laughs> eleven on the first attack is going to be a miss. Mm -hmm. But uh, you do have two attacks now. You're level five. Okay. Yeah. More mad. Uh... Okay, so 
26. 26, that's more like it, okay. So go ahead and roll damage. Uh, oh, um, uh, hold on. Two, six, seven, nine. Two, six, seven, nine. Uh, 14? 13. 13. Okay. <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> 13 if you didn't hear it. 13 damage? Okay. On number four. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Anything else on either of you guys' turns? Nope. That's going to be it for Gal. All righty. You guys hear the roar now much louder, much closer. And swooping in from behind the clouds is... Sodom. Yeah, I wonder what it could Can't be D&D &D without a dragon, right? Sodom. Um, is that a dragon? That's a big old dragon. Four shadow, everybody. Dragon. Well, that's why we put three behind you guys. Yes, so... so we ah. I don't know that this is... I don't is... think that's going to work with... This one will work. You can put them on top of the tower. I don't... Maybe? No? Do you want to... Um, yeah, I think that's good. He's think good right there. The he's good right there. Okay. okay. All righty. He... Don't wait to touch the table. Yeah, right? I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the closest. This is great. All right. So the red dragon, we're going to call him Big Red. Hey, Big Red. Hey, Big. Uh, gains that's access... Like, okay. <laughs> Gains, Jesus. Jesus. He's going to gain access to all three legendary actions. Um, and he's going to start things off with a frightful presence. So I need each creature of its choice within 120 feet, which I believe is everybody, right? It's double the length of. That's 100. So almost double. Yeah, yeah that would definitely would be. Say, yeah. 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 All right. So I need all of you guys to make me a wisdom saving throw against being frightened. Sam, you're at advantage because of bestie bangles. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. What if he doesn't choose you? Like, what if he just doesn't He's choosing all of you. Double 14s. OK. You said wisdom, right? Wisdom saving throw. That's a plus dirty one. 20 for me. All oh, right. Willow, you are not frightened. Excellent. I choose not to be. You're using your legendary resistance? I'm using my legendary resistance. All right. You are not frightened. 18. 18 is just barely a fail. You are frightened. Oh. So actually, can we get some yeah. frightened rings? Cool. Get spooked on. <laughs> 21. 21 is a save. You are not frightened. 11. 11, Hello, you are 40. frightened. Oh, man. Gelb. Six. And for Diego. You're very Diego's scared. also She's frightened. Well, oh, luckily I'm scaring. That's not my problem. <laughs> Alrighty, that's going to be his whole turn this time. Uh, that's going to bring us at the bottom of the initiative are the warriors themselves. All right. So number one is going to stand up. Um... Yeah, if you guys can help me out here. Yep, yep. Um, number one and number two are both going to rush on Willow. Excellent. <laughs> I know. You're doing really well. Well, he's, like, he's, he's, pre precarious. he's precarious. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to have him move like, closer to the camera. For the next I time. have a better idea. What's your better idea? I'm on the tower, right? Or, oh. <laughs> that works. That works. Just don't yeah. knock over the glass. Perfect. Okay. Safer. That is safer. Actually. That is safer. It works. It works. But how am I going to supposed to drink that? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you're not right. an artificer? No. Okay. Pretty smart. Um, so they're each going to get one long sword attack and then bonus action martial fury for a second long sword attack. Alrighty. So two attacks. So a total of four attacks coming at you, Willow. Yep. Um, the first one is going to be uh, 15 to hit. Miss. Okay, second one is a natural 20. Okay. Let's go. Yes, All right, so that was on the bonus attack, so that is a little bit of extra damage. Six double to 12 plus four. That's going to be 16 points of damage on you. All right. The third attack is a miss, and the fourth attack is going to be a 21. That hits. Okay, so that is going to be... Uh, six more damage to you. All right. Sounds All right. Good. Number three is way in the back over there. I think he's locked up with Sano, right? Yep. Okay, so he's going to take his two attacks on Sano here. For sure. 
First one is a miss with a natural two. Second, double twos, man. That one's, that one's not doing much. <laughs> and then number four is with uh, Geld. Okay, so Geld, two attacks coming at you. First one there is a 22 to hit. Damn. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be 10 points of damage on you for the first attack. Okay. Second attack uh, is going to be a 12 to hit. I think that misses. Miss. Okay. So that is that. That's going to bring us to the start of round two with Diego. Can I see over the railing on these two ghosts? There is one more down there. Is there one more? There yeah, one more, got one more that's not with anybody over here. Yeah, you just gotta find his own. That's my bad. I would be the closest part if you just want to run that. Uh, yeah. He's gonna rush. He's got a movement speed of about 30 feet. Yeah, so he's gonna rush up there. Thank you, guys. Um, and he's gonna make two attacks at Yusana. Uh, first one is a 17. That's a miss. Second one is better. That's a 22. That hits. Okay. There, you're looking at 10 points of damage. Okay. Yep. Alrighty, uh, Diego, you are up. Can I see over the railing and there's two over there? He is frightened, though. You are frightened, but you can see it down there, yeah. I, if I remember, I was frightened, I just can't move closer. You can't move closer, and you have disadvantage on attacks as long as you can see the dragon. So if I blink and close one eye, I won't see You would eye. still have disadvantage because then you can't see your target. <laughs> Oh, well, I'd like to move my hat to them recently. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to go with the farther one closest to the railing and shoot that one. Uh, so number two. Okay. Okay. Um, so 19 and then disadvantage. 19, 19. Double 19s at this. Yep. Okay. 19's hit. Right, nice. And then I'm going to roll for damage. That'd be nine fire, and then I'm gonna try to push him over the railing, like okay. man overboard him again. Uh, so that is all right. So he has to make a strength saving throw. Thirteen, top of my head. That one does succeed just barely. Well, lucky. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Alrighty, that's it for Diego. Um, let's see. Sam. Before you do any big spells, let me Okay. That requires saves. Okay. He's going to hold on to his time. actions there. Okay. Um, that's going to bring us to Vorden. Kind of you Vorden, you are up. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, kind of the same thing. I'm Obviously, I'm terrified of the dragon okay. because dragons are big and scary. Um, so I'm going to, once again, just... Keep trying to hide behind the, the mast. Okay, you do have to move and break line of sight in order to hide. All right, um, actually that works out then. If I could sneak into like there, like right under the, sh yeah. Yeah, perfect. You know what I mean? Okay, yep. Yeah. Go ahead and make a stealth check. And then peek around the corner to look at those baddies. Nat 20. Let's go. Woo! All right, beautiful. We got an at 20, so 29. And which one are you shooting? Uh, this one. Number one. Okay. Number one. Perfect. You have, to, you have to double everything. Oh, yeah. Jesus. What do you need for that? Extra eight and a four? A, uh, eight and a three. Eight and a four, sorry. Why don't I have an extra four? I got one. Okay. God, this is a lot. All right. This um, going to be big damage. <laughs> yeah, it's real brother. Yeah. yeah. You guess I'll have to double your sneak attack, too. Everyone stop. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't the buttons do it? <laughs> I just want the buttons. All right, uh, key gun. Oh, that was 20 under stealth. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I was so confused. Oh, I'm sorry. It was 20 on the stealth. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was damage. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, no. So definitely hidden, but you do have advantage on the attack. So farm another 20 here. Wouldn't it be a straight roll since he's friend? That is true. So it's a straight roll. All right. So that was a. It was a. Um, it was a ten on the die. A sixteen. Sixteen still hits, and you do get sneak attack. Perfect. My bad, Nate. My bad. It's all right. It's all right. Just let me breathe. No. <laughs> let him Jesus, how did you do that? Uh, it's a four though. Uh, so eight plus. Uh, 8 plus 12, 
20 points of damage. 20 All points right. of damage. Very nice, very nice. Yep. Good shot. Thank you. All right, anything else on your turn? That's it. All right, at the start, at the end of your turn, you can repeat the wisdom saving throw to end the fight. Oh, can I do that also? Yes, sorry. Still very scared. Still quite scared. <laughs> now 20? Now 20, you're no longer frightened. You might actually be more scared than I was before. Take that oh, yeah. off. What's that smell? You are a third. Yes, I, I know, and I need, I'm going to need to ask for a room. All right. So that's it for both of you yep. guys. That's going to bring us to Sana. Sweet. Um, let's go with a green flame blade this time, since now they're closer to each other. Okay. I'm going to go for a 23 on that attack. 23 is going to hit. So it's going to be 1d8 plus 6 plus 2d6. Oh, no, sorry. Plus 1d6 for the actual attack right here. So it's going to be 11, 17, uh, 23 damage. 23 damage, wow. And then 2d6 fire to the other dude. That's going to be total 8 damage to, to number, number five. 5. Yes, okay. Beautiful turn. Very nice. 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 Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot to roll this. This is a concentra uh, concentration check. Did you hit me? I make it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let me make sure. Um, yeah, that's it for me. All right, solid turn in there, getting some damage out. That's going to bring us to the commander. Um, the commander is. Just going to hold on to that for now. Um, we're going to make three attacks against Cali. Advantage. At advantage. Uh, the first attack is an 18. I am going to try to deflect that one. Okay. My, no, no damage on that one. Okay. Second attack at advantage is an at 20. Lots of 20s tonight. Okay. Uh, so 8 double 16 plus 4 is 20 points of damage. Okay. Halved or not halved? Uh, halved to 10. Okay. Yeah. And then the last one. The Martial Fury attack at advantage is going to be a 23 to hit. Yep. All right, so that's um, six points of slashing, have to three, plus another four points of necrotic damage. That is his turn. And then, Cal, you're up right after that. All right. Uh, I'm going to do some communicate telepathically with Bella. Are you dropping anything? Thinking about a Thunder Wave. No, no. I'm, I'm bigger. No, not right now. Okay, let me know. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to. Um, I'm just gonna go reckless at this at this guy. We're going toe to toe. Okay. Advantage. It's a 19 plus 10. That is a 29. Oh yeah. Thank you. That's pretty um, math. Find that. Pretty math. <laughs> That's spicy damage again. That is. 15, 17 points of damage on that guy. Very nice. Second attack. Minus 20. Um, is going to be a 27 to hit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to, that's a 1 on the damage. I'm going to use my third character to re-roll the damage. Okay. Take that. Better, that's an 8. Um, 14, so that'll be 16 points of damage on him. And then Bella, you're going to use Um, you guys do still have the coffee potions, just so you know. That's true. That's true. I don't oh, know what he even does. Um, I can't see the ring. Yeah. I'm hiding. Just like you told me to. That's fair. Um, I'm within 60 feet of Sano. I'm going to um, bonus action inspire Sano. All right, you got a D6. You can add to any attack roll, ability check, or saving throw for the next Wait. 10 minutes. Believe in yourself, Sano. All right, that's my turn. All righty. Um, Willow and Gel, you guys are up. You want me to go first again? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Thunder Wave right at the two in front of me. Okay. Um, so that's a con saving roll, saving throw. Um, okay, so the first one is a fail. The second one is a success. Okay, so I roll the damage, right? Yep. To the eight, 
Um, and then, so that's eight total. The one that succeeded so, would take half. Yeah. Okay. And so then number. I'm also heal for half. Yeah. So number split. one is going to take half. We'll take four. And then number two takes eight. Yep. For a total of twelve, have to six health back to you. Twelve. Right, because it was eight and four damage. Yes. So total I have the total damage. Okay, yeah, I got you. Total, yeah. I got you. Um, so six health back to you. Six health back to me. Can you push how far? Uh, no, it's thunder. Uh, thunder step. Thunder wave. Thunder wave. My yeah. bad. Okay. So they do they get, get pushed, pushed back ten feet away 10 from feet. me. Okay. Um, why? Why would you do that? They let out a big boom. No. And there's a big boom. You're right. You're right. Number two. Six. Question. Yes. The one. Sam. Uh, yeah. If you sub step like one tile south, I think you want to take a tap. Then you could like knock them over the board. It's underwear, right? Knock them off the boat. Off the boat? Yeah. Is it okay to? If you want to, it? yeah. Sure. Let's do it. All right. Move me a side step. So, they were like here. I don't know if she'd take another attack of opportunity. You might have to take one attack of opportunity if totally you're okay fine. with that. Okay. So we'll put you on the stairs there. Uh, the attack of opportunity is a miss. Okay. So then, yeah, one of them gets blasted off. Hell we'll say yeah. number two. Good call. Wizards, we stick together. Yeah. It's gone. Wait, hold on. It's four. Okay, do we want to take a quick break? Um, we'll finish this round of initiative, then we'll take a break. You want me to know where? Okay. Uh, so solid turn there, Willow. Yep, so that's uh, all I got. Geld, you're up. Oh, shit, I spaced out. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, Geld is going to go ahead and do two attacks at this guy with her King Crab Claymore again. Nice. You were up against number five, four, right? Three. Four. I don't know. Four? No, I think she's up against four. four. You were four. up against three and five. Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay. So number four. Four. Eleven. is going to be a miss. Damn it. Damn it, so one. Natural one, hey, that's 20 bucks for saving you though. Let's go. All right. Um, that is going to be it for Gettles. All right. <laughs> the dragon is going to sweep in here. Oh, damn it. Can't see me, can't see me, can't see me. I'm going to look at this. I can you. Oh. <laughs> it's a 60 foot cone. Do we have the cone of cold? It's gonna be up here. Oh, you idiot. Kill issue. Oh, cone. Yeah. So. This is a. If you want 60 feet, this one's 60. This is a 40 foot cone. This is a 60 straight out, and you can sort of adjust oh. on that if you want. That's right. I don't think it hits me. Okay, we're gonna get Willow and. Yeah, I think we're gonna get. Willow and Callie there. Would Diego be in that? And or Diego would up? be just outside of it. Okay. Yeah. So Willow and Callie, I need a dexterity saving throw from both of you guys. Am I supposed to do like a check after the secret part? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Well, that's a seven for Willow. Okay, that's a fail. Yikes. Luke. Don't worry, girl. I got you. All right, all right. Monsieur Luke. Yes. <laughs> I'm supposed to do a wisdom check to see if I'm so frightened. I totally forgot. Yes, I'm so sorry. Yes. I forgot. Fifteen. Fifteen still frightened. Damn it. 16. Oh, sixteen. I think it's like still 18. Damn it. <laughs> I need more d6s. <laughs> I have three, six, nine, three? ten, eleven, twelve. I need <laughs> eighteen total. Oh my God, three, there's six right here. And then, okay. oh yeah, you probably. There we go. Okay. Do you need more? Two, four, six, <laughs> eight, one more ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, even though I'm pretty sure eighteen d six. Because if it hits Cali, it should hit. No, because he's pointing it like this way. Yeah. So you're on like the edge. I mean, I knew that drive too. That's okay. We'll figure Oops, it out. Oops, we gotta run away. I'll hear the damage. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of dice. That's a lot of dice, guys. Yeah, I know. Okay, here we go. Um, there's 10, 20, 
30. Let's see, we've got 40. 45. I was trying to think 50, if I had any reaction things that 55 58 points of fire damage. What is the DC on that other guy to 19? Uh the DC is 21. 58 points of fire damage. Okay, I am resistant to fire because my breastplate. So that's 58 halved is 29. I'm down. Willow goes down. Okay, um, Oops. I will take the 58. You'll take the total, fi the so taking thing, the damage? I will take all. Willow's okay. Like cast. I have Horse 51 explosion. hit points, so like, if you want to take half, <laughs> so or whatever. Half. Oh. All or nothing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will take that. Cool. Taking the full 58? Plus We're your... We're remember them. I can oh, do some man. I am down to 4 HP. I got you. And a drink. I'll oh, get man. you. <laughs> All right, um, people can take their dice Ooh. back here. I don't know who's who's. Um, mine look like these. I only had three. <laughs> think that's you? Yes. Uh, this one. I think the great one might be mine. That one's you. Um, Producers are assaulting. This one. There we go. There should be one more like yeah. that. The, the one that's uh, five. Ah! Sure. This one, yes. Yeah, thank thank you. you guys. I appreciate sure this is how the Oompa Loompas felt. <laughs> <laughs> that one? Yeah. Okay. Big old dragon coming in hot. Um, he is then going to fly in closer. He's going to fly to the other end of oh. the ship, Why? kind of trying to I line up He wants near to see the, the crowd two. at home, yes. that's all. He wants to show off his wings. <laughs> all right. Oh, this is great. <laughs> um, and then is going to be, last but not least, is the warriors. So number one is still there. Uh, Willow is down. No, not anymore. She took the damage. From right. So Willow's, uh, Willow is going to have two attacks at you. All right. First one is a 17. That is the AC. Okay. 1d8 plus 4. So that's 9 points of damage there. All right. Second attack is a miss. Number 2 is gone. Number 3 is up against Geld. So number 3 is going to make 2 attacks. 3 is against Sana. Right. My bad. 3 and 5 are Sana. Three. Yeah. Okay. So 3 is going to make its 2 attacks against you, Sana. That's a natural 1. Cool. There we go. 20 bucks to save you. Uh, second attack is a 25. For 5 points. Cool. Number four is going to go against Geld. Yes. First one's a 13. Miss. All right. Second one is a 14. Miss. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then number five against uh, Sano is going to be two more attacks. First one's another 25 to hit. Yep. That's going to be 11. Wow. Okay. And second one is a miss. Okay. All right. With that, that's the end of the second round. Um, Mr. Jerry, if we are able, can we take a quick five, ten minute break? Yeah, let's go on break. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be right back in about ten minutes or so. Andrew!
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to pick up right where we left off. We're hanging out here at Urban Food Brood in Springfield, Massachusetts. Please, 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 we're going to be here for about another hour or so. Um, if you're local, definitely come up, come swing by. We've got raffles. We've got amazing food and drinks. Um, so please, please, please come help support. Um, okay, drink service ends at 5, I'm being told. So uh, if you want a delicious cocktail, got to say they are fantastic. Uh, get here before 5 if you're in the area. All right, we uh, are starting round three of our encounter here out on the open seas with uh, Diego Darkforge. You have the initiative. Um, so the dragon's over there. Can I have to aim at the dragon or no? If um, I like, pivot to like the railing? You might not have one sight on it. Okay. You might have well, to, <laughs> right, you might have, I'm gonna if you go. used your full movement to get to the edge, you probably could. But you would probably take an attack of opportunity. Yeah, he'll miss though. <laughs> we'll do that. Okay. Right. So you want to move about here? Yeah. I'll say you can stay threatened by that guy, or you can move up and. So if you stay threatened, you'll be at disadvantage with ranged attacks. If you move up, you won't have disadvantage, but you'll take the opportunity attack. You won't hit me anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so we're moving up. Yep. The opportunity attack coming in is going to be. A natural one. That's a natural one for Sam. That's, right. yeah. nice. that's officially that's that's four hundred dollars for Sam. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Luke's wow. next check. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Diego, let it rip. What you got? I'm going to use catapult. Okay. Um, looking to see how it works. Bear with me. I think I just roll the attack. Ninety feet. Yep, that should be ninety feet. Yep. Is it an attack or a dex save? Uh, dex saving throw. Okay, so the dragon's got to make a dex saving throw against your spell save DC. Yes. So what's, your, okay. what's your save DC? Uh, 13, I would say. 13? That is a fail. Wasn't even worried. All right, so that's 3d8. <laughs> you're too kind, you're too kind. Oh, baby. <laughs> My dice like 18 you. damage. 18 damage on Ooh. Big Red, okay. Weapons free, baby. Weapons free. <laughs> All right. Anything else on your turn? Um, can I use it to like pull him, like push him away with the strength of the telekinesis? Is there a size limitation on your telekinesis? You know, it's funny. I don't Probably. think it doesn't. I don't think so. <laughs> it doesn't say that. Oh, it has to be within thirty feet. Never mind. Okay. All right. Still, catapults uh, rocking and rolling, doing some damage. That'll be your turn. Don't forget about your coffee potions, guys. Um, that's going to bring us to Borden. Oh, and you're no longer frightened, right? Yeah. No. Okay. Borden, you are up. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to the mast. Okay. Get my fingies in there. <laughs> and I'm going to hide behind the mast. So. Uh, 23 for stealthy. Definitely hidden. Okay. Um... Who are you trying to hide from? That, okay, cool. yeah. yeah. And uh, to defend my friend Willow, I'm going to use the key gun again. Okay. Uh, 22. 22. Do it again. No, because I'm frightened. Yes, yeah, so oh, it's a straight yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah, and it was, it was the same roll. Yes, yeah, 22 is good. 22. I forgot he was frightened still. Me too. I'm just kidding. I was being. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ooh, okay, so nine plus. Jesus, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Stop sucking. Do better. Stop sucking. From the producer. <laughs> From the producer. Uh, 24 points of damage. That's a kill shot right there. Yo, there Gordon. Is. Get it. Tiny guy. All right. Hell yeah. Is that the first kill? Uh, yeah, second. 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 All right. Valid. Knock the guy off ship. Yeah. Okay. True. <laughs> Alrighty, Borden, anything else? Wisdom save, my guy. Uh, wisdom oh, yeah. save at the end of your turn. What's in there? It's a. It's That's like another $20! Alright. Oh, nice. <laughs> now you won. How did you get two? <laughs> I have the power of Visa. I can get the power He's also not driving, so. Alright, alright. Uh, after Borden is Sano. 
Uh, bonus action. We're gonna drink my flag of coffee. Okay, so you are going to get the benefits of the haste spell and twenty-five temporary hit points. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a green flame blade again. Okay. Let's see how that goes. On um, three or five. We're gonna keep on hitting three. Okay. It's going to be a 26 to hit. 26 hits. And we're going to do, let's see here, is it 1d8, 2d8, what was it? So we're going to do 14 damage with the sword, and then it's going to be 6 damage of fire to him. To <laughs> him or to the other one? To him. OK. So number three drops. Cool. And then oh, it's yeah. going to be Another one. It's going to be nine damage of fire to the arm. To number five. Okay. So Take, yeah. Beautiful. Nice shot. Excellent. And then that's going to be the end of my turn. Okay. That's going to bring us to the commander. The commander is below half of his max hit points, so he's going to use Call to Honor. Um, he can use this action. It gives itself advantage on attack rolls until the end of its next turn. And... 1d4 plus 1, more warriors are going to appear within 30 feet of him. So 1d4. Oh, man. Oh, I need a d4. It's like the one I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, two more ghost warriors are going to spawn. Brother. Where you want them. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, six and seven. Six and seven are going to be within 30 feet of him. So we're going to put those, we're going to put one down next to Diego. And then the other one, can I get next to Geld maybe? You can. Yeah, we're going to put it next to Geld. You got it. Okay. So they're going to join the initiative and then all, all warriors that can hear him have advantage on their attack rolls until the end of his next turn. Okay, so that was his full action. <coughs> That's going to bring us to Callie. Oh, shit, I'm alive. All right, uh, bonus action. We drink in our culture, um, drink in our coffee. Okay. Our coffee. Our coffee. coffee. All right, and then um, I don't like him, so recklessly go for it. Okay. Oh, that is a 20 on the first. That'll hit. I'm going to reroll damage because that was a 1. That was max damage, so that is going to be 18 damage on the first hit. Okay. Second hit. Is it 18 to hit? 18 just hits. Okay. Um, for another 13 damage. Okay. And the last one, because haste, um, will be an 18 to hit again. 18 is what you need. Um, for another 14 points of damage. Okay, he is looking pretty hurt. Um, that's action, bonus action. We ain't moving nowhere. Okay, he's severely wounded, less than 10%. Um, that's going to bring us after Callie is Willow and Geld again. Me first? Yep, you first. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to... Let's see. So the haste gives me a second. It gives you a second attack action, so you can cast two spells. Okay, yeah. so I can cast two spells. Oh, did you use your second one? I did. I did use my second one. I totally forgot about that. Oh, yeah, if you want to. Yeah. We can I'll, rewind. I'll, I'll hit that one with the real quick. Go with a 19 natural. <laughs> oh, yeah, that hits. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see here. Okay, he's that's heavily wounded there. Okay, uh, back to Willow. Sorry. All right, you're good. No worries. Um, so I'm going to thunder step up next to Callie. Okay. How um, close do you have to be to damage? Each creature within ten feet so that, of the space I'm leaving. That's has probably going to hit. 
Diego and Borden. I could. She can move up. You can move okay. up and then, like, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. So we don't, okay. please, don't, please don't hit me, Willow. Then that'll yeah. just hit the last, that'll just hit. the last guy. The last guy. Okay, Con so saving throw. Constitution saving throw is a fail. All right, so 3d10. We got, ooh, 27. Oh my God. Dang, Thunder girl. damage. And then I can take half of that. So would that be 13 or 14? 14, always 14? in your favor, yep. I'll take the 14. Hell yeah, we got the That's Stang staff. With my staff. That's one of the best magic And then I'm time. up right between oh, Callie and the captain. Powerful. Okay. Oh wait, I can reach <laughs> that one. Oh. Hi everybody. I'm just gonna <laughs> <take it. laughs> She just pops on her head. Look, yeah. Callie's into um, it, so. She don't care. And then I'm gonna uh bonus action take my coffee okay um so then that that's gives 25, me 25 temporary hit points and then i can i'm gonna touch callie on the shoulder okay and cast healing blood okay which, um as i touch a creature that is friendly to me i can roll a number of dice equal to half my max hit dice so i can roll five i believe yep um, and then I'm going to take that damage, and Callie's going to heal for that. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, Some blood magic going on. So, oh, I didn't write. What are my hit dice? So it's a D6 plus your constitution modifier. D6. So, so I'm going to roll. So what's your con modifier? Four. Um, so it's 5D6 plus 20. Well, it's up, to, up to five. Yeah, up to five. I think I'm going to roll three if that works out. Okay. Yeah. So it's 3D6 plus 12. Oh. Um, so six, three, nine plus 12. 21. So you're going to take 21. You're going to gain 21. Yep. Excellent. <laughs> um, and if you are poisoned, diseased, blinded, deafened, or paralyzed, you're also healed of those conditions. But I'm I don't think thanks. I don't think you are. <laughs> I mean, I may have a disease, but we're not talk about that. It's not that kind of disease. <laughs> um, and that will be my turn. Venereal disease. <laughs> that was the joke. Oh. Thanks, Gordon. Oh. Thanks, Gordon. Sorry, guys. Alrighty. Big moves um, from what? I've been studying. Uh, coffee potion also give you plus two to your AC, or is that... It gives you plus two to your AC, okay, so advantage on dexterity saving throws, doubles your movement. Um, okay, excellent. So. Okay. That's it. Alrighty, and Geld, you're up. Um, <coughs> Geld is, again, going to try two at number four over here. Okay. With her Are you crab. I don't think I can while I'm frightened. Can I? I think you can. I think yeah. 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 Oh my God. Yeah. yeah, I'm raging. Okay. <laughs> Angry and afraid. Rage. Oh, yes. I thought I couldn't walk. You'd be like frightened. scared, scared. Of, scared of I'm angry, angry scared. Yeah, I was going to say, you'd be angry scared. I'm so scared I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> what um, is happening? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go after number four with her King Crab Claymore. Okay, so um, it's going to be a straight roll because you're frightened, but you have disadvantage, but you actually have advantage on this attack. So they cancel out oh, to straight roll. Awesome. Uh, oh my god. Um, huh? 22. 22 hits. Um, and then the other one. Oh, roll damage first. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, uh, hold on. 2, D, 6, minus 4. Strong drink. 10. 10 points? Yes. Is that with uh, the, uh, the rage bonus? No. Um, so plus two from your rage damage. I'm not gonna lie, I already forgot the number. <laughs> Twelve it's ten. and then. Twelve. And then you have to add one d6 for four fire, because it does fire damage. No, that's only if it. I think that's only in the huh? first round. Oh, okay. Yeah. So twelve points on him. Yes. From the first attack. Um, and then the second one. It's uh, about. Mm, what? 22. 22. 22 hits? I'm trying to do math. <laughs> keep throwing numbers at me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Eight. Plus two. Ten. Again, if I did this right. Plus another two for rage? Yes. So uh, it's all together oh. ten. Ten. Another ten. Yes. Okay. That one's looking mighty hurt. Nice. Excellent. Um, 
That is going to be it for Gil. Okay. Gil, at the end of your turn, you can repeat the wisdom yes. saving throw. Eight. Oh, no. Still scared. Ah. Dragons are scary. Ah. <laughs> All righty. After that is going to bring us back to Big Red. Big Red's going to re-roll for the breath weapon, which he does get with a six. All righty. Um, this is going to get ugly. Let me, let me see what I can't do here. Oh, God, I'm cooked. Literally. Literally are going to be cooked. <laughs> yes, so... You're going to be burnt to a crisp. Sano and Geld, I need Damn. dexterity saving throws. Oh, my God. <coughs> so you're at advantage, Geld, because of danger sense. Yep. Okay. And Sano, you've got the um, extra d6 for two. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna use my I dice rolling app because that's faster. 19. Wait. Yes, 19. I got a 17 plus 2. I got a dirty 20, so I'm using the inspiration. Okay. 22. Nice. 22 saves. Nice. So, Sano, you're instead of taking 71 points of fire damage, you're gonna take half of that as 35. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. And Geld, what'd oh you roll? God. Uh 19. 19. 19 is still a failure. That's 71 points of oh. fire damage. Okay, hold Oof. on. Let me get my calculator. Uh, so you I also have to do a con. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Shield of faith. That was what? 71. Dragon's hurt. I'm down. All right, Gun goes down. It is down. Okay, no more shield of faith. Okay, guys. Alrighty, that's it for the dragon. Um, that's going to bring us to the warriors that all have advantage on their attacks until the end of the turn. So, Diego, we're coming at you with two attacks at advantage. Uh, first one is a nine to hit. This is. Second one is better. That is a 26 to hit. Okay. Um, I'm going to use shield, which is plus. Plus five. five. That gets me to 20. Plus, I think it stacks with Arcane Deflection, which is another plus four to 24 AC. You said 20. It's a, 20, it's a 26 to hit. So. Oh, I think it's a 22. I'm sorry. No, 26. So save all your resources. It's still going to get through. Um, that's going to be 12 points of damage on you. Okay. That's nothing. Okay. Um, so that was number six. Number four is on Geld. Actually, number four is going to hop down and go after Sano. So two attacks at advantage. So yeah, there's going to be six attacks at advantage on you, Sano. Uh, first one's a miss. Second's a miss. Third is a 23. OK, that's a miss. Fourth is a 24. Miss. Fifth is a miss, and six is double nat twenties. Okay, oh, rip. Good to know ya. We're all twenty. Okay. That's twenty-four points of damage on the crit. I'm still alive. All righty. Uh, top of round four is going to bring us back to Diego. All right. Um. I don't hear no bell. <laughs> Is there a way I can get to like the mask maybe and like pivot to hit the captain from that angle? If you were to run here, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah you're gonna have to take an attack of opportunity. Drink that coffee first, bro. Yeah, drink the coffee. Get that temp HP. All right, we'll do that. All right, drink the coffee. So that puts me at 25. Go back. We'll shoot two fire bolts and go from there. Okay, so attack of opportunity on you. Yes. Guys. We got some snacks for D&D. &D. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. I'll never say no. <laughs> no. They're kind of warm. They're kind of sticky. That's the only thing. Okay. <laughs> they can put some here. Maybe. I'll make it work. Yeah. I'll put them down here. They do. Yeah, yeah, we'll pass. Thank yeah. you so much. Thought about it. Awesome. Heck yeah. Which is nice. A beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing us to do this. This has been a blast. Thank you for being here. This is yeah. so freaking cool. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Right, you Who wants a piece? Hell yeah.
All right. Um, since we were blessed by God himself, that's in, that's an well. advantage, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Two attacks. Yeah, pass it. Yes, please. Those look phenomenal. Let's steal this little corner bit. Thank you. Absolutely. I think 14 for the first one. Yes. 17? It's in front of one. Yes. Well, win some, you lose some. Mm -hmm. Most of those right now. True. <laughs> Have a pity uh, cinnamon roll. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Did we get it? Also, three of them. Okay. All right. Did you want to play it? All right. Let me know. So that's it for you, Diego? Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Gordon, you're up. Um, I really like can't do much. Um, oh my god, those are so good. Yeah. It, this one's still standing, right? He's yeah. still up. Yep. I don't know the range on my key gun. I believe it's 120 feet. You could. So I could. You could. I could. Okay. okay cool. All right. So I'm just gonna move. Uh, I'm still frightened the thing yep. fell off, but you know what I mean. Yep, you're good. Yep. I'm gonna move just enough where I can still kind of be like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, jeez, Gordon. Oh, oh, God. Gordon. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, Diego got breathed on. He's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Diego. You shouldn't be like that. there. All right. I'm using the mask as cover. Can I see the dragon from there? Yeah, he's he's huge. So yeah, good for him. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. All right, he's got a really high passive perception. So, uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four is enough. That's damn right it is. These are so good. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the dragon's just gonna hear this loud boom as I shoot the key gun at it. All right, with sneak attack, it was just probably gonna be this. Wait. It's a straight roll, yeah. So what'd you get? Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen is a miss. You yeah. tickle him. So that sucks. All right, and at the end of your turn, you can repeat the wisdom saving throw. Still very scared. Still very scared. Okay. <laughs> That's why I missed because I was like just trembling as I turned right. the corner. That's gonna bring us to Sano. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just. Pivot over this way to stay in combat with everyone, but one, two, three are getting hit by a Eldritch Slash of Pulsal Death. Okay, nice. That is a net 20. Let's go! Let's go. Nice. So it's going to be... Alright, let's go. Yeah. Good. Twenty damage. Twenty damage to number four, five, and seven. Yes. Okay, so that's a kill on four and five. Nice. Very nice. I'll take those over here if you don't mind. Thank you. So there's two warriors still left. Plus the captain. Plus the captain. Okay. And the dragon. Um. Second attack. Medium. The problem is I'm going to use the rest of my movement to get up here. Did this get passed around? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my first level Paladin spell to go ahead and cast Cure Wounds on Geld. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't get knocked down again. She's, oh. she's gonna wake up, see that dragon? Oh, <laughs> this wasn't a dream. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! It was real. That's true. Third degree burns. You get healed for eleven damage. Eleven back to go. Eleven damage. Eleven health. <laughs> And then that's going to be it for me. Okay. Soldier, that's going to bring us to the commander. The commander is going to make his last stand here. We're going to do three attacks against Callie at advantage. Mm -hmm. Through Willow? Um, yeah, through Willow. <laughs> 23. Um, let's see if I get lucky. 
He misses on that one. That, okay. Uh, brings me up to a 28. God damn it. That's a miss on the second attack, and the third Martial Fury attack is a miss. Three misses. All right. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's going to bring us to you, Callie. You All right. Down. I'm going to point to Willow and say, it's time. It is. I'm going to look at Big Red, and basically, I'm going to use Unsettling Words. Okay. And I'm going to say, I've seen bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so he will have to do a minus D6 on his next saving throw. Okay. Gordon throws up. <laughs> Just on cue. And then I am going to do my round of attacks and see if I can finish off uh, the captain. Okay. Ad advantage, reckless. That's a fucking crit! Let's go! Alright. So is that max damage? That is max damage, so that is going to be. 30, 38 damage. That's a kill. Ooh, hell yeah. Get out of here, Captain. The Captain goes down. All right. Um, As the Captain goes down, oh my God, all the other great. Ghost Warriors also dissipate. Ooh. Hell yeah. Excellent. Get them out of here. It's because we're running a little short on time. All right. Um, Willow, what you looking at at uh, HP, girl? 56 plus right. 410. Hell, oh, you looking better than me. Hell yeah. All right. I am then going to use my... Um, Second action, please. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to do a. Oh, I can't. I'm fucking raging. I don't mind. You drop the rage for free. You just needed a couple of drinks. <laughs> you know what, I'll drop. I'll drop the rage for this turn. Okay. And I will do a uh, second level healing or sorry, uh, cure wounds on myself. Okay. Very nice. Good call, good call. <laughs> Just to keep things moving while we're rolling your healing, we're going to move on to Willow and Geld. All right. Um, I need to borrow what you got? five D6s. Um, we're going to cast... That's four. I need one more. Thanks. We're going to cast Circle of Death on the Dragon. Oh, shit. Okay. So we need a 60... It's a 60-foot radius, but we're going to, you know... Just going to kind of cast so it. it's about, only yep. on the dragon. Okay. <laughs> um, and I need a con saving throw. For at minus one D... Or is it a D6 or 6? It's a D6. Okay. Um, so 12... It's still a 25 on the con save. Okay, so he still passes. But I'm going to roll 8d6 necrotic damage, and he'll take half. Okay. Okay. 6, 12. Ooh, hell yeah, look at your dice go. 24. <laughs> and then 3, 24, 7, 8, 9. 29. 29 points. Okay. Um, and because it's a con save, I'm yep. a fill up. So you would get 15 health back. Which, uh, Very nice. I only needed 11. Hell yeah. Second attack? Yeah, you do have a second spell. <laughs> um, Saves the first. Can't do that one twice, unfortunately. <laughs> but we can whip out the codex and double cast fireball at fifth level. Hell yeah, it's a red dragon. It's a red oh, dragon. Oh shit! Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe not fireball. Hold on. Let's do anything. Let's see. 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 Let's Storm Sphere. Okay, so concentrating on Storm Sphere. Um, so I need a strength saving throw. It's a 20 foot radius around the dragon. Okay, strength saving throw is an 11. That's a fail. All right, so 2d6. Um, that is six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, and then as a bonus action, uh, a lightning bolt will leap towards the creature. Okay. Um, and that, does that say it's And you got to roll the hit, I think, on that. Make a range spell attack. Yep. Yeah, so that's me. Uh, that's a 19 plus whatever. <coughs> that hits. Um, and that's 46. You don't kill oh, and I would have had time. advantage if he's in the sphere. Yeah. Okay. You want fish for the 20? Yeah, fish for the 20. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Nat 20. Let's go! Oh! So what's that do? The like, uh, double? So instead of 46, it's going to be 86. Okay. Yeah. So actually, I'll just roll these twice. Uh, 1, 2, 6, 11. 
Ooh. 17. Uh, 23? No, 22 plus 10. 32 points of damage on that one. 32, okay. 32 nice to light. Nice. Okie dokie. Solid freaking turn. Thank you. Uh, that's going to bring us to Geld. Uh, oh, right. I got to stand up first, huh? Yeah. All uh, right. She's going to stand on up then. And. Um, with her leeching harpoon, she's gonna try and hit the dragon with it. Um, mm, mm, yeah. Uh, guys, last one. Wait. I'm all set. I'm all set. Thank you. Oh, it's a. I got a twenty. Hey. Oh, now, now twenty. 20. Woo! Let's go. Um, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there two D eight. All right, I have two of those. No, yes, no, yes, no, D. no, not. Two. Woo! Woo! We got, we got somebody getting the target. Seven, five. Nice, Hell nice. Yeah. So that's uh, seven, nine, seven <laughs> twelve. Eight. Uh, plus strain. Hold on, I'm really trying to. Hold. Five? No, strain two. 14. Okay, 14. Um, so 14 damage? 14 damage. And is she able to use one of her charges? Because that's going to give it a, a disadvantage on strength and dex checks for a minute. Okay. So disadvantage on strength and dex checks for the next minute. And it's bleeding now, right? Yes. So I at the beginning so. of its turn, it loses health and you gain health. Yes. Damn. Yes. Hell yeah. Okay. Good. Stop. And then she's going to take a greater potion, which... What was that again? 44 plus 4. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have a tattoo yet. 44 plus 4. Yeah. 44 plus 4. Coming. It could be coming. I see what you did there. Just roll twice. I know a tattoo artist. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 3. Okay. That's While we're rolling that, um, that's going to bring us to Big Red's turn. He's going to re-roll for the Breath Weapon attack, which he does not get this time. Okay. So he's actually at the start of his turn, he has also will take six points of necrotic damage, and you're going to gain six. Oh, nice. nice. He's got to fly right in. Oh, shit. That's a mistake. Um, I got a kite. <laughs> I got a kite. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah, way yeah, you want to go? Who's the closest target? That would be me. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's on the boat. Oh, All right. Is that good? Perfect. Perfect. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Does it look good on stream? Yeah, yeah, it does. Are you titanicing the boat now? Yes. <laughs> All right. So a full round of weapon attacks against Yusano. Sweet. Um, that's going to be a bite and, yeah, uh, one bite and two claws. So the bite attack against you is going to be a 32 to hit. Okay. Yeah, big dragons hurt. Um, big dragon energy. Big dragon energy. Yeah. So that's seven plus, plus eight. That's fifteen points of piercing. Okay. Plus six of fire for okay. a total of twenty-one on the first attack. Okay. The first claw is a twenty-two to hit. Okay. Um, that's two to six. Eight, so that's, that's twelve points of slashing on the first claw. Okay. And the last claw Wait, is a, hit you? another. With your haste? Oh no, not with haste. I took, forgot haste adds two AC. So Plus two AC. AC. Okay, so the both oh, yeah. claw attacks would miss you then. Cool. Let's go. Very nice. Oh, Jen does math. <laughs> all right. Jen, pay, Jen pays attention. <laughs> That's it for him. Uh, we're all done with the pirates, so no more warriors, no more commander. That's going to bring us to Diego. So how? All right, question. Yeah. So there's a can in the back. Can I? How far is it from the front to the back? It's Probably about 100. It's about 100 feet. Yeah. Okay, so I couldn't make it. Okay. Um, I want to go 60. So I think I'd be like underneath this yep. little awning. Can I still do a catapult? Can you still do a what? A catapult from that angle. Yeah. I mean, you could probably hit him in the ass there. <laughs> yeah. Give him a little, a little tap. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> so we'll do that. So that'd be 13. Dex save, which is at disadvantage. Okay, 13 dex save at disadvantage on him. He's got plus 6 to the roll. 
uh, is going to be a six plus three. That's a six plus six is twelve. That's a fail. Yeah. Can I get the three D eights again, boss? Let's go. And that is a twelve damage. Twelve cannibal. Okay. And I'm assuming Firebolt does nothing. Oh, viewer's choice is live. Yep, we're wrapping up. And then I assume Firebolt is useless. Firebolt does no damage to the Fire Dragon, yeah. I still want to shoot it at him just to show intimidation. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> it was a warning shot. Oh, right. yeah. Gordon, you are up. Okay, this next turn is going to be all whispers. <laughs> I promised the audience I'd do this. I'm going to move. Can't move closer, you're frightened. You are frightened. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna move backwards. Hello, yes. <laughs> you can still kind of see his wings, so you can still yeah. hit him. Okay. Am I hidden behind that? You can try to hide. 23. You're, you're hidden. Perfect. <laughs> Sixteen. That's a mess. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> All right, make another wisdom save. Uh, still scared. All righty. So after Vorden is Sano. Sano toe to toe You're with the big red. Yeah, I mean. I, I gotta go with the big energy that we've got here, so I'm going right into this dragon. Looks like you're gonna shake his hand. I'm gonna shake more than his hand. Because oh. I'm going right into the dragon. Oh. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna booming blade this thing. And uh, bonus action, X Blade's Curse. Okay. Just to give me a little bit of extra stuff. Can we get a net 20 on here? Let's go. Oh that my god, the paladin crits. I am burning the yeah, smite yeah, on this. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. There's no question. Oh yeah. I haven't used a single one of my warlock slots. Let's go. You silly goose. So, uh, we oh. damage, regular damage. Let's go. Where are my gears? Oh. Let's be nine. Let's go. Oh, I was just like, honk is not here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the, you, you wouldn't let him anywhere near this dragon. 33 for the regular damage. Okay. And then it's going to be 8d8. 8d8, guys. For the smite. Nice. So we Forty damage of radiance. Okay, nice. he is on his last leg here, guys. <coughs> Get it, girl. Alrighty, solid. I'm doing it again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> doing it again. Uh, does a twenty-five hit? Twenty-five hits. Nice. Sweet. Twenty damage. Twenty points. Okay. Nice. And you know what? We're burning the last smite. Well, it's like you do. 48. Another 21. Another 21. Okay, he is sub 10%. That's it. That's all I got. All righty. Callie, can you finish him off? Uh, I shall try. All right. Uh, I'll re rage. Bonus action. Yep. <laughs> um, I am. It's not, I don't know if you can help me out and get it yeah, Of course. There. The plunging attack. <laughs> Diving off the top of the ship. Alright. Um, God, I hope Callie doesn't finish it off. <laughs> uh, you know my side for uh, <laughs> I know. Alright, we are reckless. I have no idea if he's resistant to poison, but we're fucking going for it. Okay. <laughs> Full send. Full send. Full send. Uh, that is a 21 to hit on the first. 21 hits. Uh, that is 15 piercing plus poison or no? 
Yep, he's nice. got poison. Okay. Uh, he needs to make a DC 14 con save. He saves. I right. disadvantage it, right? Because it's four minutes? No, it's dex and strength. Dex and strength. I thought it was at dex, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, it's con. Um, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> four plus four D10. Um, so that'll be four poison straight, and then another twenty poison half to ten. Callie, how do you want to do this? Uh, we're, we're, we're just doing a like kamikaze plunge attack. You ever seen Rain of Fire? Yes. 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 Battle. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. That's that's what happened. Absolutely. All right. With that, guys, you successfully have slain the dragon, fought off the ghost pirates. You successfully sail to the Evanward Isles, where you are welcomed with an uneasy tension. However, Queen Olivia herself comes, no. accepts the coffee beans, and says, after tasting them, agrees to parlay to negotiate peace. Can I do in No. In Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do an insight check against her because I know she's a freaking recluse. I want to see if this is like legitimate. Go ahead and make an do insight it check. Minutes. That's a 16. There's something really off about her. You can't get a good beat on her, but she's she's definitely not normal. I'm going to beady eye her, but with like a creepy smile. All right. Hi. With that, guys, mission success. Congratulations. Woo! We did it! Uh, we didn't die! Not this all right. I wasn't even worried. <laughs> real quick, we got to wrap things up a little bit fast here. So you guys are all going to gain a tea leaf point for the successful mission. You're all going to gain 5,000 experience for this. It's a big old XP drop. Uh, what's the level seven, uh, level eight experience? Do it later. Do it later. Right down. We know we got at least one ding with Diego there. Yeah, at least. True. I might be three. <laughs> that might be four. We'll check it later. We'll check it later. Um, viewers' choice has a few more minutes left. Um, guys, I want to take this time to give a massive shout out to everybody involved in this. First and foremost, Urban Food Brood, this amazing venue for letting us do this. Um, let's, get, yeah. let's get a round of applause for that. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for letting us do this. Um, thank you to everybody who helped make this possible. We got Shaka and Wee Woo behind the scenes there with our producers. Uh, we've got Melvin being our people person. We've got Dark Fairy Magic managing the raffle. All of our amazing players here. Everybody who showed up and donated during this. This has been really, really fun, really, really awesome. Thank you guys, everybody. Um, this is the first in-person in check. This is the first ever in-person. Oh. At least, not in a hole. This is our first on-site thing, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was... What you doing? I'm breaking down. I'm okay. breaking the fourth wall. Andrew, we have to extend the stream. I, yes. Well, I know, but we're still waiting for a poll to end. We're still uh, waiting for the poll. But, um, <laughs> we've got two more streams left for seeing you. We've got... I did, sorry. Um, two more streams left. We've got next Thursday is round three. We've got something very special planned for that. And then we've got our wrap-up stream Sunday the 29th. Stop! Sorry! <laughs> Andrew was very impatient. Uh-oh. It just says... The magician's magic. Big Red Dragon? <laughs> um, Big Red Dragon. This has been a lot of fun, guys. Hopefully we can do more like this in the future. Um... We're almost down to the wire on viewer's choice there. Is anybody else alive? Do we have a raid? I don't know. She lives to see that. Oh, yeah. Do. Give me the ring. Uh, oh, Amaranth. Oh, no. we got the <laughs> raffle. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this man. He doesn't care. I don't care. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's the total? Uh, yeah. 65. 65 bucks, nice. okay. Okay, and... Yeah. Mac Daddy! Woo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Who wants your choice? All right, uh, yeah, I'm calling it now. Uh, your choice is a tie with my calorie Tie between Pally, Borden, and Gelf. You know, everybody just take another tea leaf point. Yeah. Thank you guys for showing up. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to wrap things up, and uh, we'll catch you next Thursday. Yeah. Hey, who are we rating? You know? We don't yeah. have a rating target.